So, hello guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure SQL Server 2017 Failover Cluster and use a SharePoint database for SharePoint Failover or SA. In this scenario, I have five machines. Here it is. This is uh, the Active Directory Domain Controller SharePoint Server. Uh, node 1 for SQL Server 2017 and Node 2 for uh, Node 2 of SQL Server 2017. And this is the uh, the witness server. Uh, this is the witness server with uh, iSCSI shared uh, the storage. So uh, first of all, I wanna I want to tell you how it I want to tell you how uh, uh, our cluster works. When we connect SharePoint Server to uh, SQL Server failover cluster, if Node One is fail due to network failure or power failure the witness server checks that node 1 is down so it transfers role to the node 2 and if uh, node 2 is fail uh, then it transfers roles to node 1 uh, in this way we can access SharePoint server without having any issues there are some steps to configure SQL Server failover and connect to SharePoints. There is nine steps. So first of all, install multipath IO .NET framework and failover, uh, failover clustering on both machines, means both nodes, on node one and node two. So first of all, node one, Add roles and features. Next, role based. Okay, this is my SQL node one. Here in feature, that net framework that uh, that's fine. It is already selected. And failover clustering, and uh, multipath IO. Next, restart the destination server automatically if required. Yes install now same go to the node 2 add role in features next role based yeah that's my node 2 server next feature dotnet framework 3.5 is already selected failover clustering it features and multipath io next restart the destination server automatically if required yes install okay these are two steps there is third uh, server it is sql witness server so in this uh, sql witness server install file server iSCSI target and we need to create iSCSI virtual disk so go to go to the server Add role in features next role based fine this is the witness server next so here file here file server iSCSI target server that's fine next here fill over clustering add features and in this server we don't need this multipath IO next and restart the destination server automatically if required yes and install in third step we need to enable and configure mpio in both nodes so first of all node 1 tools mpio discover multipaths and select or check add support for iSCSI device and click on add and it will ask for the reboot yes and same configuration goes for the node 2 tools mpio discover multi paths and select add support for iSCSI devices add and it will ask for the re reboot yes reboot now while uh, rebooting these two servers we need to complete this 
uh, step two we have configured file server and iSCSI target server now we need to create iSCSI virtual disk and uh, target go to SQL witness server file and storage services iSCSI and create iSCSI virtual disk and create iSCSI target I'm going to create virtual iSCSI disk because of I don't have any SAS device for now this is my lab so I will create virtual okay server name is this one and I don't have any drive I have just drive C so I will create in C iSCSI and I will choose custom path otherwise it will create inside a C drive so just in C drive so I will use custom path See. and next first I will create weakness disk weakness disk and size 1 GB and dynamically expanding next I will create new one for this demo target yes add uh, here we have to add the access server it means for this iSCSI device which servers are going to access this iSCSI virtual drive or device add server sql check names this node 1 and node 1 and node 2 are going to use this drive so i will add these two servers and add again browse Check names and not to okay okay yeah. node and not node one and node two these two servers are going to access this drive I'm not going to use any authentication protocol for this time confirm create it is going to uh, create SCSI drive which is I'm going to use as a witness disk here yeah this is witness disk and close then we have to or we need to create data disk folder iskg next and this is my iskg data data and size i will choose 30 gb and dynamically dynamically expanding next targets is this one okay next and create okay. close uh, here this is ice data and witness disk that's fine okay this is step is finished and this one also now discover ISCG target and add disk to both cluster go to node 1 tools ISCG initiator and target is our witness server so witness server name is SQL witness SQL hyphen witness quick connect yeah, it is connected and login success date done disconnect connect again and check enable multipath okay it is connected and go to disk management here you can see here this is for this is quorum disk or witness disk and this is data disk I'm going to change this drive to this is CD 
dvd so last one z drive that's fine okay bring online bring online and initialize disk this one and two you can choose the disk type mbr or gpt i am continue with i will continue with gpt disk okay and new simple volume next uh, i will assign later this is quorum or witness so this queue next witness disk next finish uh, this is data disk so i will uh, assign Drive letter D. I see disk uh, data. Okay, data. Finish. Now you can see the disk here. There is data in with this disk, and we have finished this fourth step now. Fifth step, create Windows failover cluster and modify cluster disk.